Lobo's starting quarterback, Cole Gauchi, is out once again with a concussion. With mounting medical evidence and lawsuits related to football-related head injuries, are both UNM and Gauchi taking a big risk if and when he takes the field again? News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at University Stadium. Jessica, a doctor I spoke to today told me there's no dangerous magic number when it comes to concussions, but he did tell me that the risk increases with each one. Since his days at Cleveland High, Cole Gauchi has lit up football fields across New Mexico, bringing home a state championship and winning the starting job for the Lobos this year. Last season, though, a hit in Hawaii gave him a concussion, knocking him out of the lineup for a single game. Then in Saturday's game, Gauchi took another lick, hard enough for at least his second concussion at UNM. Like many concussions, it might have gone unnoticed. And in fact, Casey Carrier was the one that alerted our trainer that Cole Gauchi was acting a little bit different in the huddle, and that's how we found out about it. Despite another brain injury, Gauchi's once again expected to miss a single game. Well, we expect him to be ready to play for Pittsburgh. But is that risky? Whether in sports or any other activity, to have multiple concussions is not a good thing. Loveless Rehab Dr. John Henry Sloan says someone with multiple concussions is likely to get another, and while every patient is different, the damage done only grows. And you want to try to avoid subsequent concussions because that's where it starts to be an additive effect at a cellular level. And that additive effect is what's crippled many former NFL and college players. Long-term symptoms linked to repeated head trauma can include depression, memory loss, and more aggressive behavior. Dr. Sloan says in the short term, the symptoms are key to watch. If they start showing persistent neurocognitive or neurobehavioral changes, you really should be talking about retirement at that point in time. You can count on one thing. We'll do what's best for Cole Gauci without a question. Now, earlier this week, a group of former football players, excuse me, college football players, sued the NCAA claiming it failed to properly educate them about the dangers of concussions. And last week, the family of a college football player who died sued both the school he played at and the NCAA as well. Back to you. All right, Alex, estimates are that there are anywhere from about two to four million sports-related concussions a year, many unreported.